Welcome to the Need for Excel YouTube channel lesson 15. Today I'll teach you how to build a self-updating drop-down list. So these are a few countries that we want available in our drop-down list. New countries will be added to this list every now and then and so we want this list to somehow update on its own. So let's click inside of this range and use short keys Ctrl T to format a data set as a table. Notice I've got my header in the first cell, in the cell A1. So I'll select my table has headers and click on OK. In situations where your range is frequently going to change, formatting your data as table is the smartest thing you can do. If formatted as a table, new entries will automatically be accommodated in your formula, data validation, etc. Next step is to define a name to this range. So let's select the whole data set and use the short key Control Shift F3. Create name uh, from the value in the top row. That is because I've, I've got my header in the top row. And click on OK. You can go to the name box and find your newly defined named range available. So if you select that, everything except the header is automatically selected. Let's try adding a new country. Go to the name box again and select the name range. As you can notice, the new country is added to the range. In cell D1, we want our data validation list. So let's make that cell the active cell. Go to the data tab. Under data validation, select data validation again. Select list from this drop down and use the short key. F3 to paste a defined name. Let's click on OK. You can see all the countries are available in a drop down list. Let's try adding another country. Check your drop down list again and the new entry is automatically added. I hope my video helped. Thank you.